Light L. Grant is spending his first night at home after he was convicted of murder and sentenced to life in prison back in 2012. Now, he hasn't been exonerated, but his attorney says he is one step closer. Matt Doherty has more on the DNA evidence that just might clear Grant's name. Matt? Yeah, Lynn, Grant has said that he was innocent from the very beginning. His attorneys blame the eyewitnesses. They say they got the wrong guy. This mother has been waiting for today for a long time. This is such a happy day for us. Her wait has ended. The last nine years, man, I feel like an animal in the cage, especially knowing that I didn't do it, knowing that the actual killer was still roaming the streets. Lydell Grant was arrested nine years ago during a traffic stop for driving on a suspended license. A tip from Crime Stoppers led police to consider Grant a suspect in a murder that happened five days earlier in the parking lot of a Montrose bar. 28-year-old Aaron Shearhorn had been stabbed to death by a man in front of dozens of witnesses. Six witnesses picked Grant's photo out of a lineup that testified he was the killer. Grant was tried and convicted. Uh, it is much more difficult to um, exonerate an innocent person who has been wrongfully convicted. Grant's new attorneys with the Innocence Project of Texas argued the eyewitness testimony was unreliable. They say new DNA evidence from beneath the victim's fingernails match a different person, a man who they say has been involved in other stabbings. Just go ahead and exonerate me because the evidence and the investigation of the case, it proves, it proves itself. But this Thanksgiving... Eat big, big, big turkey <laughs> with my family and my, my auntie, my aunt Keith Felice. Favorite, uh, I mean, my, my peach cobbler, you hear me? Grant is grateful, even though his case is far from finished. Never give up and trust in God. Now, Grant's appeal was helped by a state law that allows for convicts to have DNA evidence in their cases retested. The Harris County District Attorney's Office says it just wants to see justice served. Back to you. All right, Matt, thank you.